This is Jeff Blauett, Technical Agronomist for Cooperative Farmers Elevator. And on this week's Field Friday segment, as you can see, we're not out in the field today. Um, but I wanted to touch base on something that's going to be pretty important here for this time of year. Uh, here we are getting towards the end of the third week of September and silage continues to go. Uh, shortly we're going to end up having some high moisture earlage start to go for the livestock feeders. Um, but by the time we visit about a week from now I expect maybe the first soybeans to maybe be coming out of the field. So harvest is right around the corner from getting uh, getting to be a big factor. So what I wanted to talk about today was the planning that needs to go in place for you know kind of working towards next year's crop a little bit. Um, we're sitting here in the fertilizer shed uh, in front of a pile of potash. Uh, I thought it'd be an appropriate place to talk about fertility planning and going through some of these things that are uh, pretty important to do but we're not going to want to think about when we're riding the combine here in a couple weeks. So I guess what I wanted to touch base with is what planning needs to take place now. You know, we've used to this cycle, we want to get the soil samples and use your current soil sample data. Uh, go through those recommendations, you know, most everything today uh, for putting fertilizer or lime on is done variable rate with uh, some method of grid sampling or site specific sampling of the soil. So we kind of wanted to uh, have some of those things that take a little more time to make the decision on. We wanted to have those done. Uh, probably before we get in the field as best we can. This is the time of year we kind of have a pretty good idea where prices are going to be for our fall fertilizer products, anhydrous, uh, phosphorus, potash, sulfur, zinc, etc., as well as lime. So we know the information we need to know to make that decision very likely. Um, and if we don't have soil samples, we need to plan which fields need to be sampled so they can be done as soon as possible after harvest. But if you have those soil samples and we have time to, to sit down with your agronomist here, let's go ahead and uh, think about what we want to do, come up with a cost strategy. I think what you're going to see this year with the dry weather we had earlier on in the summer and some of the stress we were through, um, fields with better fertility and that were more well taken care of are probably going to reap benefits from having increased yield this year. So it is a very important process to go through and, and plan accordingly. Um, everything starts now because we're starting the variable rate with the soil samples, but we can also deal with if we're going to variable rate plant, maybe we need to feed those acres accordingly. So all this process starts for next year's crop already now. So um, just wanted to touch base on that, remind you that this is the appropriate time to do that. It's very important uh, to have that plan in place because we don't like to bother you guys when you're in the combine, when you're focused on other things. We can focus on the task at hand now before the combines roll. Rainy day, uh, windy day, we're not in the field. Let's go get this stuff done. So get in touch with your CFE agronomist and get a time schedule where you guys can visit about that so we have some time to get that plan in place. We can't really apply any of the fertility products in general besides lime until that soil gets below 50 degrees so we don't worry about losing any nitrogen but if we have a plan in place now then that's all taken care of and we can go when the time comes because for your sake and for our sake we want to get this stuff applied before you go out and rip the ground it'll be better to have that fertility on before that and also to get it on before the snow or before the frozen ground because that's just hard on everybody uh, to try and work on frozen ground as, as much as we can avoid it so with that, that's this week's Field Friday segment, and we'll see you next week.